Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems, on the web at lobbytools.com. The suspension's continuation comes after months of intense debate. One of our students died as a result of hazing. And I think that it is just so important that we be respectful uh, to him and to his family. The band's absence promises to strain attendance at football games, especially classics in Atlanta and Orlando. That could jeopardize about a million and a half in revenue for the school. The president says there's much to be done before the band can come back. The band must be restructured from who participates, how they are enrolled, through how long they practice. Retired band director Julian White agrees with the suspension. We need to get the message across that hazing is not going to be tolerated. Clarinet player Travis Roberts spent the last four years marching without being hazed. Let's take accountability for what has happened and let's put in measures to where this thing does not happen again. In June, the university will lay out the guidelines that the band will have to meet to come back and there's no guarantee that that's going to be in 2014. The university does say it will honor existing band scholarships and continue to offer new music scholarships to worthy students. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Massalinda reporting.